All right, let's let's talk about um, let's talk about progress bar. Like uh, uh, let's talk about red function that is repeating. Uh, here you want to monitor the progress here, and you want it to be repeating the progress like so. In this way, you come here, you have progress, and you type rep that is here. You can see it here, which repeats tests a given number of times. Use rep to fill the cell with number of instances of a test strings. So with this, once you get here. And what it needs you it needs the rep, the test, then the number of times. So in this case, we are going to use this and we're going to use this pressing this on your key. But uh, then the next thing is you put up the same column again and you close it. Now once you close it, the next thing is how many times you want it to be repeated, which is number of times. You select this cell, which is the number of times you want to repeat it, and then you can press this and close it up. When you press it and play it up, it gives you one. So it means if I type four here, you see automatically repeat it, repeat four here. If I type eight here, it does the same thing, replicating it into eight times. So what do you need to do? Remove this, let's put it in one, and then click here. You can double click here when you change to black, and that's going to fill for the rest of them. So you can see it here, it have completely been filled. So once this is done, what next you need to do is you need to select all of them, like select each of them, like select it and then go to the test here, selecting these two here, and I'm going to the test here where I have test here, and I'm going to look for it is called stencils like this, and you can see it up here. So click here and then click and this brings you in the progress bar. So you can fill it with the color you want to fill it and change it the way you want to change it. But the whole thing is it comes up this way. So you see at any point in time you make a progress that changed to that color. So um, this is what it is. So I can click here. It's, it's a test. So if I put it here, change to this, and so change to any color of my choice. So if I want it green, if I want it red, if I want it blue, any color of, of my choice that I want it, so I can make it there. So what does it do? As you can see here, it makes a progress. So if I change this into 10, it moves to 10. And then if I change this to 23, it goes to 23. If I change this to 500, 600, and then it moves as long as so this is a way you can use repeat functions and how to do this. See the way it is changing. So it should be able to show if I put up zero here, and you see there is nothing on it. And if I put up 10, then, and you see it makes this progress. So this is a way you can use a rect function. Like I said, look at it here. Uh, you can see it only wrecked then this and I refer to the table of my chairs and that's just going to give me the F. So this is a way you can make this kind of um, progress by so as you enter a number you can see the way it is making the progress. So this is it for this part using the error function here. Yeah.